Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can take an interior like this, an interior scene. You can have geometry in here, but in this case I'm just uh, projecting an HDR interior to the geometry and then I can bake it to a texture to a cube map let's say or uh, an interior map and then we can apply it to some geometry and we would get something like this this parallax effect so let's see how it's done I'm starting with a sub create creating a box and we, we will need to subdivide it, otherwise we will get distor a distorted projection, as you can see. So place a subdivide in bilinear mode. In this case it's a very simple interior, but you can elaborate more. Then I'm reversing the normal so I can see the interior by taking remove back faces. Then I am UV projecting and at the same time using a quick shade with my HDR so, so I can see the result and I can manipulate the rotation and play also with the box scale to see if, where it fits better as you can see it's really easy to, to do this kind of image based modeling. And I have an output in here called Geo. And from there I'm creating a material library with an unlit surface and just a material X image loading my HDR. And this step is really important, otherwise you will get a lot of grain in your final image. So then I'm creating a camera and setting the view. It's just default 0, 0, 0 to position. And in the view I'm setting the aspect ratio to 1 to 1, since I want to render a square texture. And in the Karma uh, tab I'm using a lens shader that you need to create inside a mat network, a material network, as you can see in here. So then in the caramel room lens shader, in the, the different variables here, the X min, Y min, Z max, I'm inputting the bounding box and the corresponding uh, bound. So the X min, the X max, and so on and also adding a very small value of offset you will need to play around to see where it lands the perfect result because sometimes you get some noise and you also need to increase a bit the samples to get rid of the of some of that noise so then if you render you will have a perfect or near perfect uh, room map then finally you can create a plane and attach the room map frame just default settings create a material and attach the, the room map that we rendered and the corresponding attributes room p tangent u tangent v and that's about it. You have your room map working, as you can see. We have the ceiling and uh, the walls, the floor. In this case, I didn't use a squared, uh, a squared grid to to rent to as geometry to render this effect because otherwise I would get stretching so what I did was in the sub create on the grid 
I loaded as a spare input my geometry, my original geometry where I projected the HDRI and used the bounding box size Z, Z, X and Y so it creates the, a similar ratio to the original geometry but you don't need to do that because I was getting some stretching in some areas and this is better this way but you can totally make it square and from distance this looks pretty convincing so yeah you can grab the file on my patreon and thank you everyone that joined so far and i will see you soon thank you